It's well known that protein plays a vital role in the functioning of our bodies. Protein is the building block of your muscles, skin, enzymes, and hormones, and it plays an essential role in all body tissues. A study says around 1 billion people worldwide are protein deficient. How do you know if you have a protein deficiency? Here are seven signs you may be protein deficient. Number one, skin and nail problems. Protein deficiency often leaves its mark on the skin, hair, and nails, which are largely made of protein. A protein deficiency can result in making your nails weak, brittle, and in few cases, you'll observe white bands and brownish spots on the nails. A protein deficiency can affect the skin as well, as protein enables cell regeneration, produces new cells, and replaces dead ones. If this happens, you'll notice your skin feeling dry, flaky, and cracked. Number two, loss of muscle mass. Your muscles are your body's largest reservoir of protein. When dietary protein is in short supply, the body tends to take protein from skeletal muscles to preserve more important tissues and body functions. As a result, lack of protein leads to muscle wasting over time. Even moderate protein insufficiency can cause muscle wasting, especially in elderly people. Number three, hair loss. Our hair is made up of 90% protein known as keratin. If you don't get enough nutrients, your hair may thin and fade in color. This happens because the body stops using protein for non-essential things like hair growth in an effort to preserve it. Number four, sleep deprivation. If you have trouble sleeping or suffer from sleep deprivation, it's likely linked to a protein deficiency. Protein from the food we eat acts as building blocks for tryptophan, an amino acid that causes drowsiness. It indicates that we must eat protein-rich food near bedtime to get better sleep. Number five, you're feeling more anxious and moody. Amino acids are the building blocks for neurotransmitters which control your mood. Proteins help the brain synthesize hormones like dopamine and serotonin that help bring on positive feelings like calm, excitement, and positivity. Number six, increased risk of bone fractures. Just like muscles, a low intake of protein can affect the bones as well. Not having enough protein leads to weakening of the bones, thus increasing the risk of bone fractures. This is mostly because protein is needed for calcium absorption and helping with bone metabolism. Number seven, your pants are feeling tighter. Although sometimes higher in calories than carbs, high protein foods cause increased satiety to a greater extent than carbohydrates or fats do, so they can prevent overeating and snacking. They also help stabilize your blood sugar, allowing you to retain more muscle, which burns more calories all day and can reduce cravings. How much protein do you need? Not everyone has the same protein requirement. It depends on many factors, including body weight, muscle mass, physical activity, and age. Arguably, body weight is the most important determinant of protein requirements. As a result, recommendations are usually presented as grams for each pound or kilogram of body weight. The recommended daily allowance is 0.4 grams of protein for each pound of body weight, 0.8 grams per kilogram. Scientists estimate this should be enough for most people.